Hi, I'm here with the Letman C paddle, which is called the Ergonom, Ergonom Pro C. So I thought I'd show you some elements of this paddle. This paddle is top of the range, high, higher spec paddle which Letman provide for C paddling. Okay, it's not cheap, but it could well be the last paddle that you'll ever want to buy. As you can see, it's an ergonomic paddle, so it's got a crank shaft on it. Um, and the angles there are very elegant. You have uh, an angle here for your hand grip and then it changes angle again and goes on to the blade Okay, in a single sweep, which is a very elegant um, system. And the reason why they, they have these continuous angles is because this whole paddle from the tip to the center of the shaft is built in one mold in one single piece. Therefore, they don't have to compromise on any of the angles at all. For example, if you looked at a paddle which has got a joint in here, then they have to compromise and straighten these angles up to slot a straight spigot into the paddle itself. Not so with the Letman paddle, given it's made in one piece. Okay. What this generates is a, a very long section here, which is where I, you hold it. So you've got plenty of um, variation for you to hold the shaft itself. The shaft is not round, it's an oval which is actually moulded on the hand shape which you generate. So it's a um, natural grip there for you. Moving on to the blade itself is a three dimensional profile blade like a wing, okay, which slots into the water and generates hardly any noise or resistance and super efficient. Um, and that's the only way to test it is to try it out on the water and then you'll know um, how beautiful it paddles. It's an asymmetric blade. The blade itself, is, this one is a large. There's also a small blade area available which is slightly less powerful. The area is 10% reduction. Okay. This is my paddle um, which I've been using for several years now and it's got the variable joint on it. So I'll just talk a bit about that. Really useful for sea paddling. Reason being, you can change the length of your paddle depending on the conditions and your fatigue and what you're doing in the water. Okay, so this one, when it's closed, is set at 215 centimeters. Right now, it's set at 220, which is my standard set when I start off for the day. Should I then find that I'm battling against the wind and having to fight hard, I might reduce this down by 10 mil or 20 mil to increase my cadence rate. Also, if I uh, find there's a big following sea and a following wind behind me and I can accelerate faster, then that might require me to think I'm going to actually open up this paddle by 10 or even 20 mil to increase my power and speed, Okay, which is simply done with that lever. And just close it back down again and it's fully locked and fully static. Okay. So that's the benefit of having a variable joint. You can change your gear and change your ratio of paddling depending on the conditions and what you're up to. Really useful um, aspect to have on a paddle. This one here, you can open up all the way up to 10 millimeters, uh, sorry, 10 centimeters in, in variation without compromising the strength. A little bit of maintenance on this. Certainly you want to keep it clean and at the end of the day I would take the paddle apart just to dry it off. Apart from that, this has been good for me and have no problems whatsoever with it. So that's a little bit about the Letman Ergonom Pro C.